It's another D-cell battery sucking mammoth. It's Light Bright by MB. This thing originally came from 1967, not this actual one, but it started in 1967 or was released and has evolved over the years into a 3D cube, a flat screen version, and it's currently an iPhone app, I'm told. But this is some sort of 80s variation because I love the 80s and I happened to get this from a car boot sale, which if you see my GBR thrift video, you will see. No, I didn't bother putting this in that video. Scrap that. So this includes hundreds of glowing pegs in eight brilliant colors. Insert color glow pegs, watch them light up. And the premise is quite simple. This device has a couple of bulbs in. I think we're talking old school bulbs, so they're probably knackered. And a panel, and you put different colored lights in and the bulb shines through and you can create pictures. Portable. Peg organizer, quality features. Uh, it's a bit like the Tomy lights up, but that doesn't have colored pegs and you just poke the pegs down in that. Whereas this one, as you will see, oh, looking very 80s, is um, a chunky affair with lots of different colored pegs and some twonkers put them in the wrong. You haven't organised them, they just jumble them together like some sort of peg bonanza. I haven't tried this, it might not work, which will be a disappointing video to say the least. But we'll put the, the Tesco Extra Long Life D-cells in. And see what happens. Oh, we had... Ah! Can you see that? It lights, it lives! The bulbs work! Oh my word! Let's create a picture! So here we are deep in the light bright studio with a lovely backlight and you will see we have an instruction manual which tells me that the light bright unit includes two bulbs, 12 picture sheets and it tells you all the colours. One, two, three, peel off adhesive tape, slide out battery cover. Yep, after creating a picture remember to switch off. Indeed, otherwise you have to lash out on mega expensive batteries. And there's all these um, different pictures. So there we go, if I slot that one in, we've got um, what looks like a girl holding an ice cream and a boy holding a flower or something like that. And there's all numbers here which correspond to the relevant holes. But we don't care about that. Oh, I certainly don't care about that. My main objective is to just shove some bits in like this. Should I do it? Should I go the whole hog? Uh, uh, yeah, okay, I will, but not on this one, because this one looks far too complicated for my needs. Let's find an easy one. Here we are. Which one's got no holes in it? You have to punch them yourself. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. This is an unused one. Okay, let's try this unused one. So the light's gone out! Oh my god! Come on, don't fail me now. Come on. Not in my time of need. There we go. You get the idea. I can see how this could be entertaining in the oh, 60s, 70s, before we had computers. I'm quite surprised it's still going today, but it is a little bit tedious, although it creates quite a pretty effect. Look at that, it's lovely. I even got bored of matching the colors because I just couldn't be asked. But if you're curious as to what the final product would look like, it will look like this little picture down here just cut. It's quite a nice effect actually. I'm sure if someone had enough dedication and could be asked to 
make a lovely picture, it would look fabulous. But I can't be asked. I can't be asked to make a train, this clown's face, this pyramid. No, it's a boat, this sailing boat. In fact, the person or people who owned this before me couldn't be asked either, because many of these cards, what's that? Is that a map? It's a map. What is that? What? I, I don't know what that is. A disabled dog? I, no idea. This looks like a lighthouse. Uh, that looks like a rocket. So there we go. That is Light Bright by Milton Bradley. I think it's owned by Hasbro now. Like everything else in the world. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.